Jeff Ferris on Hot Homestead. And today, on an incredibly bright, sunny day, not a cloud in the sky, I got the sun in my eye, and this morning it was 8 degrees. It's about 35 degrees right now. So, a little bit of wind. It feels really good, actually. But when I woke up this morning, I had ice on my windshield. I still have to work for a living. So, I got to get the ice removed from the windshield. Well, I used this de-icer. I had about an eighth of an inch of, of ice. And this de-icer, oh my gosh. I didn't think it would work, and it works beautifully. I don't know if you guys have ever tried it or, or not, those of you that deal with ice a lot. My gosh, I can't believe how well it worked. So, I'll... um. You know, I'll put a link down in my description field about so you can get some of this at Amazon. But you can get it anywhere, really. But I'm I'm surprised. So what, what do you guys think? What, what do you guys do when you got ice on your windshield? You just sit there and scrape, scrape, scrape till you get it off? Or this thing works great. I wake up, I go out to my car, I start my engine. Oh, and get this. My heater or my truck don't work either. It's not a song. It's the truth. My heater don't work in my truck. I use this de-icer, and I bought one of those little fifteen-dollar um, uh, Harbor Freight uh, little defroster things for the automobile. You plug it in the cigarette lighter, and I'm using that. And you know that works actually pretty well. It doesn't heat your car, obviously. It's not it's not designed for that. But you put it up in your dash, and man, it does it it it, it does keep the you know the ice away it does keep the ice from reforming um, it kind of helps this you can kind of see this working and you kind of see the area where the the the, uh, the Harbor Freight defroster is working so but yeah pretty uh pretty nice now I know it'd be best if I just parked in a garage or a carport well I don't have that yet it's gonna be a few years before I get that so in the meantime I got to deal with that so what are some of your guys' options? Let me know on, on what we can do. But it also leads me to this. I was um, I was actually talking to someone the other day about, you know, how cold it was. And the other day we had winds up to 60 miles an hour and things. And this guy who's lived up here for, for like over 30 years, he's lived up here. And his property, he's got, he's got a well and he's got a pump house with the well. And for those 30 years he has always gone out there and put a little propane heater out there cranked it on kept the whole well pump nice and warm so it doesn't freeze on him and he's been doing this with no failure at all for 30 years well lightning struck not like lightning but figure of speech woken up in the middle of the night with to an explosion now, we all talk about, oh, don't put your propane tank inside. Don't put it with the heater, basically. Well, for 30 years, it was no problem for him. Well, this time it was a problem. What, what everyone believes happened, what the insurance adjuster believes happened, because he is insured at least, is that when he went to hook up the hose there to the propane tank, it just must not have been tight enough and it leaked and since propane is heavier than air it settled to the bottom and as it kind of built up in that in that pump house it got up to the heater and the flame of that that propane heater and then it literally exploded huge explosion obviously his pump is gone his pump house is no longer standing even worse the piping it was so hot that some of the piping, and I guess some of the fumes must have got down inside the, uh, the the well piping as well, because he says even parts of that was melted a little bit. Um, so he's, uh, you know, I don't know if it was, you know, what kind of material it was or anything like that, but he's like, it's more than just a pump in a pump house. It's it's a lot of the the parts for the whole the whole well and you don't know what else is damaged down below so um but uh yeah luckily he uh you know he wasn't hurt himself 
but for those of us who use these propane heaters, granted his propane heater was not a, a one of those big buddies with the oxygen sensor. It was just one of those screw on top of the propane tanks. Um, but it's a good reminder to all of us that when we're using propane heaters to keep us warm when it's 8 degrees or, or below zero or whatever, that if we're keeping our pipes warm or if we're keeping ourselves warm, that even though it's been safe for 30 years putting that propane tank in the same room as that heater, this always just takes once. One time, explosion, big, big problem. So, um, reminder to us all, safety first, right? Even though it's convenient leaving the pump inside, or, or not leaving the pump inside, but leaving the tank inside with your, your heater and stuff, um, just know just takes one probably probably a good thing and, and he never does this is uh is to use that soap the soapy water in a uh, spray bottle and to use that um that's a great way to to check for leaks um it's not a sure fire way but it's a great way to do it don't think though that you're going to do it and you're definitely going to be safe um but um you know wow can't believe that just think because he also uses propane heaters inside to help supplement his heat inside. You know, he's not you know, he's not physically able to go out and harvest firewood and stuff like that, so he can't do the wood thing. So he so he heats with propane. And uh, wow. Boom. So this winter, check your propane tanks. Make sure they don't leak. Every time you change it out, make sure the the connection doesn't leak. Use that soapy water, and uh, and be safe, folks. Um, be safe this winter, this holiday. Your family needs you, and um, and uh, and that's that. Hey, Concho, come here. Come here. And Concho, want some lovin's? So. Jeff Ferris on the Hat Homestead. I just want to drop off this video. Tell you it was a little cold. But more important, be safe this winter. Your propane tanks and your propane heaters, it does happen, the explosion part. Thank you for watching my video today, and I appreciate you watching it all the way through there. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share, and comment. Every little bit helps support my channel. My name is Jeff, and you've been watching Arizona Hot Homestead.